Welcome Scorpio to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the one watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please Please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all the angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright guys, so first off, uh, I hope you all are doing well. Secondly, uh, my audio may seem a little bit um, off because um, I have the AC going on and the fan running, blowing in my face. <laughs> It is hella hot where I'm at, but uh, thankfully uh, I am cool. So with that being said, let's get straight into your reading, Scorpio. So this is for the month of July. And what is coming towards my Scorpios in the month of July? So Spirit, please bring forth the energy of the person that is connecting with the sign of Scorpio in the month of July. Who is coming towards my lovely Scorpios for the month of July? And Scorpio, what is your energy towards this person? What is the situation dealing with your love interest and yourself? Let's see. Wow, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So currently, I feel like your person is learning to forgive and learn from their past, past relationships, past a situationship possibly with you. And that's actually pretty good. And it's about a deception. So someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So what I'm seeing here is that your person is learning to forgive themselves for deceiving you. Okay. They weren't really uh, honoring their true authentic self. I really feel that uh, they were blocking uh, themselves in the connection with you by not uh, really being honest and also not standing in their integrity. Okay, and I also feel like they were not transparent. So let's see. Yes, uh, what I'm seeing here is that they had a hard time of freeing themselves from past relationships, past uh, situationships, take it as it resonates, and maybe uh, they're not actually free. Okay, uh, but I feel like uh, maybe this is a work in progress. So let's see. Now, with you, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, there is an attraction. You're smelling the roses, right? You're like, hmm, you know, you're doing you. Uh, you definitely feel attracted towards this person, okay? And also, it's a true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Automatically, what I'm feeling is that you could be dealing with a twin flame connection or a high level soulmate partnership and uh, I also see that um, they're learning something here in this relationship with you okay it's about being de deceiving also forgiving and learning from their mistakes so maybe your person came off as someone who is uh, a perfectionist okay that's one thing that I'm actually uh, feeling okay but let's see Spirit, please bring forth the energy of the person that Scorpio is dealing with in the month of July. And Scorpio, what is your energy towards this person through the unconscious or subconscious thinking and this connection between you and your love interest? Spirit, please bring forth clear messages of what's going on in the subconscious 
between a Scorpio's person and themselves. Let's see. Superficiality. <laughs> and it's in reverse. It's easier to be superficial and be accepted by society. So I really feel that before in the past they were superficial, but now they're learning and forgiving themselves for being fake. And this is where this deception comes in, okay? And I see her holding on, but it's in reverse. It hurts to let go, but sometimes it hurts more to hold on. So I really feel like your person has let you go. They were deceiving themselves because really, they really wanted to hold on to you. Okay. And it really did hurt them. It hurts more to hold on than to let you go. And they were really lying to themselves. Okay. They were being fake. Honestly, I really feel like your person really cares about what other people think in a group setting. So uh, if they were portraying that they were a certain way in front, uh, in front of groups of people, they were being fake. Okay. Because I really feel like you're seeing a fake version of themselves and how they were portraying you know themselves when they were with you okay when it was one-on-one -on -one. and also uh through a group of people you could uh see night and day the difference of how they actually portray themselves in public when they are just with you and they let you go they were deceiving themselves and this was a lesson that they had to learn that they had to forgive themselves for being fake so i really feel that your person had deep feelings for you they really didn't want to let you go but because uh you didn't fit into this person's public uh, appearance or you know or how they're portraying themselves in a public sense i really feel very strongly that they let you go okay they were being fake now your person is learning that it doesn't pay to be fake it pays to be truly authentic and now your person is learning from that wow and i see that they're not finished you know and in a sense i feel like they cut you off already scorpio okay that's what i'm feeling but you know in reality your person has regret that they've done this to you that's what I'm seeing. And, you know, what I'm seeing here on your side, Scorpio, is that you know that this is a true love connection. And uh, with uh, this attraction, there's change. Your love has transformed me. I'm forever changed. So what I'm seeing here is that you are attracted to this individual. Okay. You don't want to change the, the situation. You know that this is a twin flame or high level soulmate connection. It has definitely changed you in some way. And you cannot explain this. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. And also we have karmic love. Wow. This love is too painful to keep holding on. So deep down inside, Scorpio, you know that this is a true love connection and you feel that this is karmic in nature because this love was too powerful to keep holding on and that's why your person let you go. Now guys, do you see this? You guys are thinking the same thing, okay? Like for your person, they... They wanted to hold on, but they let you go, okay? And with this karmic love, this love is too painful to keep holding on. So you let them go, but you knew it was true love. So I definitely feel like this has got to be like some kind of twin flame connection, okay? Or like I said, a high level soulmate relationship or connection that you had with this person. I honestly feel like you guys aren't together, okay? That's the true feeling that I'm getting here. Let's see. Spirit, please bring forth the energy of the person that Scorpio is connecting with in the month of July. Who is Scorpio uh, dealing with in the month of July? And if the uh, karmic energy wants to come through, because there's definitely a karmic energy here. Spirit, please bring forth the karmic energy if the karmic energy wants to show up. And also uh, Scorpio's energy. But please, uh, 
please uh, put the focus and attention on the person that's coming towards Scorpio in July or whoever this person that they're connecting with. Clear messages about this connection. Thank you. Dang. There's already deception here. Your person is deceiving you. This is, I mean, this is like legit, like confirmation. Your person was lying to you, Scorpio, about letting you go. That's what I'm saying. They let you go, but it hurt them. Yes, they were naive. Your person was really naive about like not telling you the truth that they, they were broken. So there must have been a third party situation that interfered in a connection with you, obviously, because you know that uh, there's a karmic love. The love was too painful to keep holding on. Okay, uh, possibly because there was a karmic situation that got in the way between you two. And Scorpio, you know that this was a true love connection. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And your person walked away. They walked away from this relationship. And now they're feeling like maybe they messed up. Maybe too much time has passed to come back. And they're really conflicted because whatever path that they've chosen, I really feel that um, there's uh, other people involved. And now they're conflicted. And they have a hard time of healing themselves or working on it. Maybe they lost hope that you guys could rekindle this romance. You guys are definitely in separation. I feel like now your person is reflecting on forgiving and learning from their karmic experiences about, you know, being fake. Now they want to be honest that they love you. I can't make this reading up. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward and that you make them happy. You know, you actually uh, bring clarity uh, towards this person that this person really didn't see about themselves. And what I'm also getting is that uh, they were blocking themselves. Maybe it was because they were in the public. There were too many people that this person was affiliated with and it was just easier to let you go than to hold on. And they were deceiving you when in reality they wanted to hold on to you. Look, your person wants to reconcile. They want to celebrate with you. Okay. And wow, they're very passionate towards you. Now, this person could come to you pretty soon. Okay. And what I'm getting is that they want to tell you the truth that they were hurt over this deception that uh, they were portraying towards you. They don't want to end it with you, Scorpio. This is your energy. They don't want to end it because you make them happy. Wow. Like, this is a very clear message that's coming through. You actually feel like home. You feel like family to this person. And they know that they didn't treat you fair. For some, you know, uh, they're actually getting a divorce or getting out of a karmic situation. And the only thing that they can do is possibly watch you online or on social media. And really think about the long term, about the future. Okay, but right now... Um, they're coming to you as if they're cold and cut off, maybe a little bit manipulative. So your person really wants to come through, okay? And I feel like to cut off this energy of working with the karmics because they know that they've been really controlling so that they could be with you. Now, for some, you could get contact from them very soon in, in the month of July. For others, it could be in August. I really feel very strongly August is going to be a pivotal month for my Scorpios, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Because your person hasn't uh, really wanted to let you go. Dang, there's union. So if you're uh, you know, watching this as a twin flame connection, I definitely feel like reunion is in the cards for you. Uh, perhaps this could happen within four days or maybe uh, at the end of July going into August, okay? That's what I'm seeing. You know, they're really stressed the, about the separation because they blocked themselves for such a long time. 
and they really see uh, that you're very stable okay they want to make you an offer okay uh, after cutting you out and it was because their ego got in the way and now uh, you know within six days to like six weeks your person is gonna come through okay they're really hurt over this uh, third-party situation they've reflected on it now they want to offer you a commitment so this is really beautiful energy Wow let's see so you you could be getting a text message okay uh, this person is slowly coming back and they're going to express their deep love for you now for some they're gonna tell you that their crying situation isn't over yet okay so they're wrapping things up so they're actually uh, telling you okay that in their heart they want to invest into you you're gonna get like some small conversation okay or contact from your person and it's really burdensome for them to really uh be honest with you i think that that was a challenge now uh, they know that they're gonna face their fear of telling you that you're everything that they ever wanted you're the missing cup i can't make this reading up guys you are the missing cup within a month or within this month this person is going to come through and offer you what they have been working on for some you know maybe it's a piece of pottery maybe you know they're going to take you out for a cup of coffee uh, that's what i'm seeing guys wow in the crown okay there's uh, something here where they're keeping a secret this is a secret that they want to come to you they're not telling this to you for some you could get communication it comes out really small but their intent is f something deeper guys you know that's why you know they don't want to come in quickly and rush this you know but they're feeling a little bit impatient here that they want to wrap up the cycle to have a new beginning because there hasn't been any growth with you and they're not clear about how to contact you okay uh, that they've changed your person has changed and now they're stable for some you're dealing with a fire sign your person is really determined to to approach you they're single <laughs> turn dependent now and now um i feel like uh, they're ready to open up this is really beautiful scorpio that's what i'm seeing wow so let's see uh how is this person going to come through when they express their love towards you <laughs> you guys are gonna take a a, a spa day maybe you guys are gonna go to the spa yeah maybe get a massage or something let's see Oh, they're gonna take care of you maybe somebody here is sick and they're gonna come to the rescue and look we have night out in the town they want to take you out you know um, to a dinner maybe to uh, a thing I don't know what what's going on now these days guys at night but maybe it's driving you know is there anything else spirit good morning text this person is going to start texting you in the morning that's a that's where the emojis start coming through right is there anything else spirit how this person is going to communicate that they're ready to offer love towards scorpio wow that's too much i saw karaoke maybe this person can sing and that could be for maybe one or two of you guys okay um let's see any final messages PDA okay your person likes to show uh, that they do care by hugging you kissing you in public and things like that so those are really beautiful signs okay so I really feel like you you're finally gonna go out on that date okay that's what I'm seeing that's beautiful so what is the hidden truth spirit what is uh, the hidden truth of this person that is connecting with Scorpio what are they hiding what is this person hiding please spirit 
What is this person hiding? I hid who I am from you. What did I say? So this person really did deceive you. Okay, they hid the truth about who they really were. They really wanted to hold on, but they let you go. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. You know, they were being superficial. Uh, I feel like they had to learn from a karmic lesson. And um, they were being fake because I feel like it's their status uh, about who they affiliate themselves with. And I see here, you don't know how hard it was to, to let you go. So if they ghosted you, if they cut you out, they they let you go. It was because they, they did love you, but they didn't know where you fit in into their their 3D life. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like this is, like I said, a twin flame or a high level soulmate connection. Let's see. Is there anything else that wants to come through? What are the messages from your person? Please, Spirit. Any final messages that want to come through? Any final messages? I look for you everywhere and I feel you are leaving me behind. Wow. So what I'm seeing here is that you're not pursuing them, but they do look for you. They see you everywhere, you know, but I really feel like your person just needs to come through and, and communicate. <laughs> that's what i'm getting guys okay so let me go ahead and wrap up this reading okay so if this reading is resonating with you so far this is your closing guidance message from spirit and if you're the cross watcher who is watching this could be for you so spirit please uh, bring forth uh guidance messages for my lovely scorpio What is the guidance message, please, Spirit? There's romance in the near future. There's something better that's coming. You're not going to expect this, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Let's see. Is there anything else that Scorpio um, can look forward to in the month of July? What can Scorpio expect? Wow, there's a lot here. So meditation brings answers. So make sure you do your meditation. And if you believe, okay, there is helpful people that is there to help you. That's what I'm saying. So take it as it resonates, guys, okay? Uh, I really feel like your person is going to come through towards you uh, possibly at the end of the month. But for some, it's soon, okay? And in their future, you're going to have romance. So if you believe, okay, you shall receive. <laughs> so I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. And guys, okay, uh, I do have a new reading out on my website. It is called What's Next. So um, if you feel very strongly that this reading is resonating with you and you like to get a little bit more clarity on your personal situation, you definitely can book a reading with me. So basically what the What's Next uh, reading is what is next? Is it your past lover or a new lover? Or are you dating someone new and you want to know what is going on? What's the future outcome of this potential person that you're currently dating? Okay. And um, if, if you have anything specific, go ahead and let me know. And then I can channel those energies towards you or for you so that I can see what is coming next in love for you, Scorpio. Okay. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading. Let me know. Make sure you, uh, you like, you comment, you share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.